so now what we're going to do is we're going to make um, the, the part of the enclosure that is going to cover the sides. So let's go ahead and um, measure um, the depth, width, whatever you want to call it, the spine. Uh, let's see. So you can make these um, those little areas that are going to cover the sides of the book. They're going to fold up around the sides of the books. Yep, fold up around the sides. And, look at sides, and it looks like it's about an inch. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start creating those little marks. Remember, these are guidelines um, to help you figure out where you're going to cut and kind of create that preliminary um, enclosure. Because in, in most cases, you're going to have to do a little um, reshaping anyways. Because like I said, no, um, especially a lot of the older books are going to be perfectly symmetrical and so forth. So. And the other thing you might not have caught was Marie Chris actually set the book in the center box again to make sure the center box was going to fit it to double yes. check. Because the worst thing to do is actually make one that's a little too small. <laughs> you all your cuts and you have a little, and it's peeking out the corners. And especially with a book like this where you can actually visually see that the top part extends. When you put it in, it may not look like it fits perfectly, but then you have to take into consideration that the top part, part um, yes. extends far, farther than the bottom one. Okay, so those are my lines. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start making those lines with my pencil and when we come back you'll get to see it because I will have traced over them in marker. <laughs> okay. Okay. So as you can see we have already created um, the lines for where the um, that are going to cover the sides of the book and then you're going to make some tabs that will kind of fold in uh, to make sure that the book is totally enclosed and they're going to be attached to the top and the bottom panels. Okay, we're okay. back. Okay, back. So we are going to go ahead and make our tabs now. And I'm, again, going to be using my pencil. Um, and I just want to make sure that it's at least um, kind of coming off of where the part would cover the front and back, uh, bottom sides of the book. And probably roughly about, you know, the same size. Now, when you're drawing your lines, you could just draw them straight out. Yep. And where they cross, that's your points for your tabs. Mm -hmm. Whatever, but MC's drawing them in. It's whatever's easiest for you. Yeah, whatever's easiest for you. Whatever, you know, kind of, um, especially when it comes to cutting, it's, I notice some people have a better um, time when they're just kind of focusing on this. But it doesn't matter. It's whatever works for you. Like I said, every um, enclosure is uh, unique. And every, and there are more than one way to make an enclosure for a book. So this is just one way. And um, when you, if you go online, you'll see all sorts of other ways. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and color these lines in with my black little marker so you can see them a little bit better, and we'll move on from there. Cool. That's totally cool. So, okay, I've made sure that it's about... So now what I want to do is I kind of want to make sure that I have enough that's going to cover, again, like the front of the book, and then have enough to kind of cover the sides so I can put my little Velcro buttons, which I forgot to tell you guys about. That's the last supply you'll need. Yes, last supply you'll need. So I'm just going to keep this really simple. Um, I'm just going to measure kind of the width of the book from here. I might start from the top because it's a little bit Okay, wider. so this is to decide how wide your side flaps are, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. It's about five. I'll go with five. Okay. Okay, I'm going to make my lines to make my side panels. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's, I'm going to film that for a little bit just so they can see what you're doing. So now she's taking the measurement of the, the book, mm -hmm. the top of the book, and going five inches out, since it was five inches wide, and doing the five inches. Now, be careful when you spin these enclosures, because what sometimes happens is you forget the direction it was pointed in the first place. Yeah. And then if you're actually anywhere narrow on your foldover, you might end up cutting the wrong place. So mm -hmm. always... Always make sure you have your thing oriented. You could even, like, put a T on the top and a B on the bottom to help you make yeah. sure you've always got it oriented. North, south, east, west, whatever works for you. <laughs> yeah, especially when it comes to the tabs. Um, it'll be helpful. So I'm just going to quickly just draw that in. Again, like I said, these are just guidelines. It's all probably going to change once we um, fit it to the actual book. Okay. So I'm going to draw it in with the marker. All right. We'll cut off here then. Yes, because we don't want anybody to see this. No, nope, not at all. <laughs> 